you can on user you can make like they use HTML tags mm -hmm. for the names. So you can have like the Among Us like thing as your tag. Wait, uh, HTML. Like, like, can you embed like a video as your tag? I don't know. I, <laughs> maybe I, was, I misremember the tweet, maybe. But we're gonna get it right off the bat. Now we we're talking about how we went up against ZD's uh, Fox, but this is Moku, a completely different Fox with a different play style and a different matchup experience uh, net. I, so one of the main differences that I've personally found in Moku is that Moku just knows on hit. I feel like. I mean, like, you know, he doesn't. Need, he, he never ever extends. He doesn't need to hit it. He just knows it's going to hit. Mm -hmm. ZD will wait for the, for the hit mm -hmm. to commit to his next option. So he's uh, you're saying Moku is more of a reads and less of a, uh, a neutral. Yeah, gotcha. And he's just way. He's just a lot more aggressive. He does not let you breathe. And he both both ZD and Moku excel at ledge trapping. But it is almost impossible to get off the ledge purely without without Moku messing up. There's times where ZD will. You know, attempt to go for an option and just mess it up. But Moku just knows. Still, yeah, that, like that. He just knows. And uh, I like he, he dash forward, dash back. Okay, well, immediately fire him back. But I like that Moku dash forward, dash back. A lot of people try to shield grab that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and sure enough, Joje tried and failed. Yeah. But it's a pretty back and forth game right now. As long as he can, as long as uh, Joje can minimize these uh, Moku strings. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Ugh. And land, trying to land with an option, but... He's dragged them down. Get off that platform. <laughs> All right, triple up air into back air. What the heck kind of game are we watching? Waiting. Yep. Yeah, it's going to air dodge out. He's giving banana. Yeah, whoa. Oh, we almost yeah. snatched him with that. Yeah, that is one thing. That is pretty much... That is Diddy's neutral at this point. He relies heavily around banana against characters like this. And if you can get it away from him, he kind of can't do much. He has to, but the thing is, is Joje knows. Yeah, he has to throw them. He has to throw him off stage before he has the the breathing space to pull a banana. That's where the character with the speed and fall and fall, fall speed, speed yeah. of box, because Ooh, there it we go. Doesn't really float around. He kind of just falls like a brick. Exactly, and he does not have a jump right now. But it was a very smart. Uh, I know Joje was expecting the illusion, but Moku never, rarely ever gives it to you. Yeah. And Joji, you can see even for the bear, just in case Moku could it. dropping down with a with a nair or something. But not no, not gonna take it just yet. There, there it is. is. Yeah, the one time he uh, he he already had a jump, so it wasn't really a good idea to do uh, to do up. But either way, he was kind of screwed there. And that shield was so low, but that was yeah. such a good up smash. Because also, he does have a small hurt box. So yeah, he's a little mon little monkey, little monkey boy, little monkey boy with a frame five out of shield smash attack. So one of the few things that can actually punish Fox's you know green button. You know. Into into the down air back air, most amount of damage oh, you can get. Still missing the tech though. So that's gonna give yeah re grab. Joje such a good position it right now. Wow, and like this third stock has been all Joje so far. Let's see, but I mean, I'm pretty sure Moku would a uh, you know winding the vortex up can probably bring it back. But yeah. he's already yet <laughs> falling out of it. That was a bit of a greedy up smash to begin with though. Yeah, he was already at the very edge of uh, what that up smash was going to reach, so... So here's the problem, is that Joji has to problem. find a way to land. Yeah, this he is the problem. He doesn't have a jump, and oh Moku has my God. next up smash kills. E yeah, with this much rage, probably into... Nothing right yet, but go out of stage and not just What are you doing <laughs> up there? Get, get, get down from there! And that is, uh, that is Joji up 1-0, which, once again, not, not really common against Fox, because... But, he was, George is also, he got mad, he was not happy, he lost the ladder on Sunday, came in the lag spike, or smash tag yesterday, won that over VA. You saying he's feeling himself a little bit? He's probably feeling himself. He was talking, he was talking his stuff, and now he's trying, now he's proving that he can, he's backing it he's up. He's backing it up. Moku, unfazed, with the mask, it looks like he's, it looks like he's Noob Saibot. <laughs> <laughs> With the hood in the in the mask. Oh, he, who's who's Sub Zero then? Who's Sub Zero? Yeah. Well, it's the same outfit with blue, I guess. Well, I mean, like we need we need, we need like an alternative in Xanadu. <laughs> well, technically, Noob Saibot is Sub Zero, he but that's the first one. But that's yeah, that's well, one. Anyway, Moku, Moku uh, is actually still down. I think uh, Joje, he is feeling himself a little bit. He knows which options to break him out of these vortexes. He's been very smart in the neutral. His dash attacks have been on point. Yep. Off stage right now, but oh. yeah, gonna get through right there. F tilt's a little slow there. Falls off with the. Why did that get up attack lose? What? I think because it, it was 
it didn't hit him because he was still landing with Nair, and it just so by the time he did land, he was vulnerable. Whoa. And he used the kick, so he didn't have Uppy to get back if he needed it. But gonna make it back, but he's still in disadvantage. And you're trying to land against a fox. Yeah, you have to basically like do the jump side B, just fly away. There it is, and just a raw up smash. Raw up smash too. But that also you have to kick there too. In that because kick gives a lot more distance on it. So yeah. It boosts your momentum just a little bit. Of what you don't want sure. to happen is Moku to just be running underneath you while you're kicking. Like, please don't hit me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta pray at that point. But. Has him off stage, and we have seen. Oh, he's done. No, gonna. Did he yeah, save his jump? Or did, no, no, he, he didn't. This is a good early up. I mean, early side. It B. was an early side B. Yeah. yeah. And Joje tried to intercept it, but it was a little too late. And you see, Joje when he does have a lead, starts. He knows a little bit. He knows what he wants when he has a lead like this. He's not panicking, looking for a kill option. Because that's what Moku needs. Moku needs the kill Moku more has, than Joje does. Moku has one of three ways to kill right now, and Joje knows all of them. And Otherwise, he's, he's just gonna get what a grab. Cool. <laughs> oh, up though. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Oh, <laughs> oh he, he got a little comfortable up, up there. Up though. Up here. He got a little comfortable up there. He with the immediate A button press. What is this melee? Okay, but that's. Yep. That's just, that's just gonna work. JoJ there. feeling pretty comfortable here. A whole stock up and a best of two, three. Best of three. This is when it's orders. Yeah. But, so. Okay. I mean, if Moku, you know, does the thing and kicks his barrels off, we're back to an even game though. So. And that is one thing, though, is that Fox does not really have the tools to kick the barrels off without, you know, committing to an option off stage. Yeah, he's gonna have to like shine or something. Yeah. I don't think Laser knocks it off. Even then, that's really risky. You have to attempt to. If you mess up, you're recovering with Uppy from a low position. And you're position just gonna get spiked. You fall <laughs> way too fast. You, yeah, you should just get spiked. Okay, Joje still racking up a reasonable amount of percent uh, while holding onto his second stock. Into no, the dash attack sending too high today. Did he weighs more than Fox? He does. <laughs> he does. I just thought about that. For he a actually he weighs more than Little Mac. Is he really? Yeah. Damn, banana got. Did he? The <laughs> he banana weighs more got, than Sephiroth. Banana got. Wait, what can I say? So he's got all that hat. He's got barrels in his back pocket. That was nice a good catch. Follow up. Yeah, that was you know another 50-50 scenario and uh, JoJ guessed wrong, flipped the coin wrong. I mean, you could probably run reaction there too. But see, so he, he was where Fox excels, and you got late hit dash tag. You're, you're, well, you were going to extend that for a bit. Got an additional 10% off it. And Joje got stuck in shield. Great oh, match. No. But you can see Joje shaking his head like, I am not about to choke this game away. No, sir. Yeah, and he needs to take the stock. Look at Mo this pressure. Because Moku is a player that excels with momentum. If Joje, and Joje oh, does too. He needs he to get off this corner. Yeah. <laughs> using, uh, using up and get back. Any means necessary. I'll damage myself if it means getting stage control back. Yeah, and he's looking for that aerial hit. He's not getting, going for banana. He's not doing anything. He knows... I'm yeah. thinking maybe is he can he anti-air one of these uh, fox falls? Oh, he's trying. Up, here, up tilt definitely that kills. He's with trying, rage. but now he's off ledge. Why would you give up stage control like that? Luckily, he be, he's able to scrap that it back. That's not gonna kill yet, but it's gonna yeah. send really far away. And yeah. Oh, you see, it. Joje put everything into that one. Using the kick, and now you're putting yourself back at ledge, no! and you lost it. <laughs> putting yourself back ledge. He did that multiple times. Yeah. It's only a matter of time before Moku finds the one way to take it. Yeah, his heart rate got a little too high there, and uh, he was just like, can't choke, can't choke, can't choke. And Moku, steely-eyed, looking yeah. right at him. You can see that whole last dog, Joji was looking for a like, kill option, and that cost him because Moku was also. punishing him. <laughs> yeah, Moku, was, Moku knew what to do in a situation to build percent. He did not wait for Moku to give him the opportunity. He pressed the situation, and it gave Moku the opportunity to claw everything back. I think it was that's like the main problem because we've seen all game. Joji excels well God. when he forces Moku into those rough situations. Yeah. When he forces Moku. Because when situation. you have the lead as Diddy, you win. You have the neutral, the best, one of the best neutrals in the game, against a character who has to move, has to approach, <laughs> has to approach and land one of three moves on you to kill. So you, your flowchart is pretty simple, but if you press it and uh, give yourself openings like that. You know, Moku's gonna take that and run with it. And yeah. oh my god, finally get him this way off that platform. Get me off this train, <laughs> please. It's that ultimate platforms are terrible. Especially when there's a fox, you know, fox underneath, underneath you. you. Especially <laughs> right, right underneath you. And yet, uh, trying to get back little, off with his kicks. He's getting flip heavy. A lot of Diddy's do that when they're, uh, I don't wanna say autopilot, but they're, you know, getting impatient. They're getting impatient, trying to find a way out. Yeah. That seems to be like they're like, Old or liable, like oh, I need stage control. Flip. Oh, I need a neutral tool. Uh, flip. But 
he has to, he has actually oh you better punish that yeah, he has grab. landed every single grab attempt of the uh, flip that he's tried so far Moku seems to be a little comfy in his shield in two yeah, yeah. just do the you know Moku was about to pop the shield on top of that Fox also falls way too fast to get an up smash at that percent and you committed to an F tilt Joje rolling his eyes jo Joje definitely gets affected by. Well, this is, this is his demon matchup, this right? This is his demon matchup. So he's like, he was so close to, to, to uh, slaying his demon matchup last game. Let it slip through his fingers. Finally yeah. gets the Nair back here. One, something that, okay. So Jojo, what we talked about like earlier, and this, this relates to it. Something that Jojo will do is he will call you out with an up smash. And he does not lose a game where he calls you out with up smash. Because he feels himself after that. That's a good point, He yeah. doesn't have something like that. He doesn't have a strong kill option to call you out with. He yeah. has to play neutral. So he, it's a slow burn for him. It's a fast... The burn is fast. You can't kill him at like 50 unless you get a spike. Yeah, and it's hard for him to, it's hard for him to get that back going up if he can't get it Ooh. together. And he's starting to... He's, yeah, he's, he's, right now. he's commanding, okay, into... Should take the stock. Yeah. And there it is. I would say go for the spike, but that's a much safer no, option. Definitely go for it. Yeah. So I would go for it, sure. But right at that point, you want... After you if, lost that last if game If another like that, aerial will kill, go for it. Yeah. At that point, you lost that last game after, you know, a rough... Oh, oh hold on. Hold on. Extension off the nair. That was clean for a nice about 40% there. And that's really good considering you want to... You were in a pretty bad position to start this game. Now, if you <laughs> let this slip through your fingers, because this is the exact same situation as game one, a nice, solid, healthy, one-stock lead. And I have Moku at a really nice percent. Oh, and no. That does combo, but did he, did, he, did he have your... The hat adds weight. <laughs> yeah, he's got all that Nintendo merch on. That cost a fortune. Oh, he <laughs> called out hard on that one. And this lead is a lot less solid than he had in the last mm, game, too. That's yeah. the problem. But if you're Jojo, you can't think about that last game. Whatever oh, happened, it happened. He's <laughs> approaching him again. He's approaching again. He's, he's trying to press the advantage again. Whereas Moku, you see, hasn't really pressed, you know, that many buttons. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Slapping him up. But, but the fall down there and a jab. And he Moku falls so fast. Fast. He falls so fast, he couldn't even pull Banana out before uh, he came back and hit him. Yeah, and trying what to go for you there off it, but that's... Oh, the hard call out. Oh. And do do yep. not get up here, my friend. Oh, oh no. Jump. <laughs> but, 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 but. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so he had he got hit by the banana and used a double jump too. So he had the eight dogs back in. And Moku thinking he had it, hit the shield, hitting the shield, and F smashing. He thought he had it, but no. So yeah. able to the banana went right over Didi because he pancaked with the uh, I think it was a kick or something like that. But I have to go play another <laughs> match. Goodness gracious, what a match! Should have followed him, but I think we're gonna have Squid Plumber versus. Dexter, I'm not sure the record. I'm pretty sure...